Central Georgia has been facing a lot of challenges lately. Now one of those challenges, balancing paying rising grocery prices while also paying for other essentials. Our running reporter TJ Anthony is live in studio with an initiative aiming to fight food insecurity. Good morning, TJ. Good morning. The censusreporter.org reports about 24% of people actually live below the poverty line in Bibb. This year, Bibb County Schools introduced a program to some schools aimed at helping more kids Get the food, and nutritious they, the food and nutrition they need to take some weight off parents' shoulders. I feel grateful that I'm not, uh, that my parents like provide things for me. Fifth grader Mary Annie Mendoza says one thing she can always count on from her parents is food. But she's noticed others aren't as blessed, including some classmates. They would tell me like they would be hungry. I would give them something that if I had something, um, like I would bring them, them stuff. The U.S. Department of Agriculture found in 2021, 13.5 million households were food insecure. You're going to put your milk here, your juice and your fruit there. Southfield Elementary School in Bibb is one of several schools taking part in a pilot program with the mission of helping families that face food insecurity. Principal Janice Sharp says she's noticed food insecurity in kids firsthand. I've witnessed students coming in, uh, trying to rush and get here to school and saying that they had not eaten, um, they were hungry or they misbehaved because they didn't get something to eat that morning. The initiative was brought to several bib schools through Helping Hands Ending Hunger. Their goal is to rescue uneaten food from school meals and give it to families in need. The Middle Georgia Community Food Bank also supplies food. What they're able to get from the cafeteria includes juices, anything that's packaged like a vegetable or fruit. Um, we're able to get the apples and oranges because we do sanitize it with the fruit spray and any milk that's not needed. Mendoza is one of over 15 student volunteers helping to feed students and their families and also staff. It is free. We don't want anyone going hungry. The work means a lot for Dwan Johnson, the Helping Hands coordinator. Did you always have a hot meal on your table? <sighs> no, I didn't. It's okay. I wanted to help them. Now, the largest family that they feed has 12 members, and they provide food for every single one of those members and anyone else who's a part of the program, including some staff at the school. They do get food donated to them on top of the food they collect from lunch. So, Caitlin and Wani, this is an amazing initiative mm -hmm. aimed at helping to just bring, like, families food they need. Mm -hmm. That's so great. It's wonderful how many students are pitching in, and you can see it just is so personal to some it, of them. Exactly. TJ, great job on yes. that story. Food is something that we take for granted. We have mm -hmm. jobs that, you know, compensate us well, and we're able to have a hot meal every evening. But we have to help out one another because some folks don't always have that hot meal that they can depend on in the morning and in the evening. And for kids, that's so important to help them so develop, too. Important. Now, My they Lord. collect about 40 pounds a week of food for families to take home on the weekends, and they project that number is going to grow next school year.